بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله My dear student, greeting to you all. Today, inshallah, we will be having our enrichment activities for the third year. My name is Teacher Ines al -Hdithi. So as you can see, this will be the activities that we will be concluding our curriculum with. They will indicate more information, some activities for important information that we had at unit, at the last two units. Okay, animals, shops, and more. So let's start, bismillah. By the end of these activities, we will be able to differentiate between singular and plural. Also, we will be able to give the opposite. To answer the question, what can animals eat and what can animals produce? Okay, so let's start. These are the last two units of our term. As you can see, the one on your left is animals. Here, we were able to name different kind of animals. What do animals eat? What do they produce? Also, we were able to name um, singular and plural nouns of animals. While on your right side, we have shops and malls. We name different kind of shops and what can we get from this shop, okay? So let's start with unit number three, animals. As you can see here, I have two, uh, I have the same kind of animals, but on your right, I have just one. So in that case, we'll be naming the singular noun. Here we have a camel. I have a camel, okay? Now, I have one camel, that's singular. While on your left, I have one, two, three. I have three camels, three camels. Very good, so repeat after me, please. Camel, camel. One more time, camel. One last time, camel, very good. Well, I have here three, one, two, three, I have three camels, camels. One more time, camels, one last time, camels. Very good, so here are different kind of animals. Now, let's have another one. Same, I have singular and I have plural. To your left, I have a cow, that's singular, one cow. While on your right, I have one, two, I have two cows, two cows. So I have singular and I have plural. So let's read together. A cow, a cow, cows, cows. Very good, excellent. Now, let's have another animal. Here I have one and I have more than one. So I have singular and I have plural. On your left, I have a goat, a goat. One more time, a goat. One last time, a goat, very good. While on your right, I have goats. So I have plural, I have plural. Okay, so let's read together. Goat, goat. One more time, goat. One last time. Goat, very good. While on your right, I have goats. Goats, very good, my dear student. Now, how about this one? Here I have, again, singular and plural. I have chickens and I have a chicken. Very good, so I have singular, one. One chicken and I have three, three chickens, three chickens. So let's read together, chicken. Chicken, one more time, chicken, one last time, chicken, very good. While here I have chickens, chickens, one more time, chickens, one last time, chickens, very good, my dear student. Now how about here? I have the same animal, but I have just one on your left and three on your right. I have a sheep. Sheep, one more time, a sheep, one last time, a sheep. Now, I need you try to, I need you try to remember, try to remember the plural of sheep. It was irregular nouns because it is exactly the same. Sheep, but with no article. Sheep, I have one, two, three, I have three sheep, okay? Now, try to give me the plural of these nouns. 
form the plural. As you can see, I have one of each. I have an apple, a brush, a potato, a fox, a ball, and a sandwich. Let's try to form the plural and let's try to remember what are certain changes we need to make at some cases. For example, apple here, the plural is apples. So we just add S here, apples. So apple, apples. Now how about brush? Now, brush ends in S and H. If we have a word that ends in S and H, we need to add E S, brushes, brushes. So brush, brushes, very good now. Next, I have potato. Potato is a singular, just one potato. Now, if we need to make a plural, we need to add ES because this word ends in O. Potato, potatoes. Like the word tomato, tomatoes, we add ES. Now, let's go to the other side. Here I have a fox, fox. Same, we need to add ES, fox, foxes, like the word box, boxes, very good. Next one, I have bull, bull, we just go ahead and add S, bulls, one bull, four bulls. Well, the last one, sandwich, it ends in CH, so that's why we add ES, sandwiches, sandwiches, very good. Now let's read our answers one more time. Apple, apples, brush, brushes, potato, potatoes, fox, foxes, ball, balls, sandwich, sandwiches. Very good. Now, also we need to answer this question. Now, let me ask you a question. Do animals eat the same food? For example, does a horse eats what a lion or a tiger eat? The answer is definitely no. As you can see here, what do animals eat? What do monkeys eat? They often eat fruits or for example, their favorite fruit is banana. So monkeys eat bananas. How about a horse? As you can see here, I have a pile of hay in front of the horse. So that's a different kind of food. While for dogs, they like to eat meat and bones, okay? That's for dogs. So to answer this question, do they eat the same food? The answer is no. Now, to your left here, I have different kind of animals. And to your right, I have their favorite food, okay? So let's start, for example, with a cow. What do cows eat? What do cows eat? Do they eat fish? Do they eat nuts, fly, grass? The answer is definitely grass. So cows eat grass. Very good. For the next animal, I have a penguin. What do penguins eat? What do penguins eat? Very good. You guessed this one right. They eat fish. They eat fish. Very good. Now, next I have a frog. How about a frog? What do you think? What do frogs eat? They eat flies or insects. Insects, very good. And for the last animal, I have a squirrel. Squirrels loves to eat nuts, very good. Okay, so I have different kind of animals and I have their favorite foods. As you can see, they love to eat different kind of food, not the same. Now. To answer this question, what does it produce? Now, all the animals here are in this planet to help us as human to carry on living. So they produce different kind of things. For example, cows produce milk. Sometimes you can get meat from the cow, right? So cows produce milk, okay? Now how about chicken? Chickens produce eggs. So here I have another production. Okay. Now how about the sheep? Sheep produce wool. Now we can use wool to make our outfits, jackets, clothes, and so on. Let's go ahead and revise them. Cows produce milk. 
while chickens produce eggs. As for the sheep, they produce wool. Very good. Now, same here. Try to match. To your left, I have the animals. To your right, I have the products that we can get from these animals. Let me name the animals for you first. I have a cow, a chicken, and a bee. To your right, I have honey, milk, and egg. I think you can do this one. What do cows produce? What do cows produce? They produce, very good, they produce milk. Okay, as for chickens, what do chickens produce, my dear student? They produce eggs, very good, they produce eggs. And for the last one, bees produce honey. Bees produce honey, very good, excellent. Now, I have this one and I try to add two more. Here I have an, a tree that produces something. Then I have a cow, a chicken, bee, and a sheep. Okay, and I have the products on the other side. Now let's try to match. For this one, I'll be giving you 30 seconds. Try to guess, try to match it. And after 30 seconds, I'll be revealing the answers for you. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Here I have a tree. As you can see, I have falling fruit from this tree. It's an apple tree, so this one produces apples. Very good. How about a cow? A cow, as we answered before, cows produce milk. As for chicken, this is an easy one. Chickens produce eggs. While here I have a bee, bee produce honey. And what I have left here is a sheep. A sheep produces this sweater that is made of wool. That is made of wool. Very good, my dear student. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we will be talking about opposite. What do I mean by opposite? Let me explain here. Here I have certain nouns or certain adjectives that are opposite of each other. For example, I have boy, girl. I have go sign stop sign big small day night front back full and empty as you can see they look like each other but they are completely opposite okay now let me introduce some individual opposites here on individual opposite nouns here i have a boy so can you guess what's the opposite of the word boy? The opposite is a girl. Very good. So here I have a boy and a girl. Let's read it together. Boy. A boy. The opposite is a girl. A girl. Very good. Very good. Now how about this one? Here I have, very good, a man. What's the opposite to this now? What's the opposite? Woman. Very good. So I have a man, I have a woman. Or he could be a father, so the opposite is mother. Very good. So let's read together. Man, woman, father, mother. Very good. So here are their opposites. Now here I have two sofas. Okay? They have the same size, but completely different condition. Okay? For well, the one on the top, it looks old. This is an adjective, old. The opposite, the exact opposite is the couch below. It's not old, it is new, it is new. So here I have an old sofa and I have a new, a new sofa. So let's read together, old, old, new, new. Very good, excellent. Now here I have, Two animals, two animals, but they are 
completely different, the opposite. The elephant is big, while the mouse is small. So I have a big animal and I have a small animal. Very good, my dear student. How about this one? Here I have a father who is playing with his daughter and the opposite is son. So here I have two opposite nouns, daughter and son. Very good, daughter and son. While here I have a bull and I have a cow. Okay, same breed but different gender, bull and a cow. While here I have near, this house is near. The other one is far away. The other one is far away. Again, these are opposite words. Here I have rings. But the one to your left costs 600, so it is expensive. Why the other one costs only six, so it is cheap. It is cheap. So I have an expensive ring and I have a cheap ring. Expensive, cheap. Now, I need you to go ahead and open your books at page 56. I'll be zooming in in a minute. Have your pencils with you, okay? And let's start. Read and match. As you can see here, I have six words, actually six names of animals, and I have six pictures. What I need you to do now, after I read these, try to match singular and plural here and then i'll give i'll be giving you 60 uh, sorry uh, 30 seconds to write the numbers and then i'll be revealing the answer so number one i have chickens number two sheep number three goats number four cows number five camels number six horses now i'll be giving you 30 seconds Try to write the numbers and then I'll be revealing the answers for you. Okay, so let's start with number one. Number one here, I have the word chickens. So did you find the picture that has chickens? Actually, that's right. I hope you get this one right. The, the, the last one on your right side is chickens. Next one, I have sheep. Now remember, sheep could be singular and plural. I have sheep right here. So this is number two, very good. Next one, I have goats, plural goats. Very good, those are our goats. Next, I have cows, plural. Those are the cows. Number five, I have camels, camels. Very good, that's number five. And the last one are horses at number six. Make sure you have the correct number in the correct place. Now, I need you to go at page 57, that's the next page. I'll be zooming in for this part. Rearrange to make correct sentences. So basically what are we going to do? We will put the words in the correct order to form a sentence. Let's read. Number one is, will the a huge animal fall stop. So in order to put the sentences or the words together to form a sentence, we need to start with the. So the whale is a huge animal. The whale is a huge animal. So let's go to number two. No is water, desert, and full stop there, the. Okay, we'll be starting with there. So there is no water in the desert. Follow stop. Make sure you are writing the correct answers. Number three, the, the wolf, 
can live in jungle. So, the wolf can live in the jungle. The wolf can live in the jungle. Very good. Number four, read stories cannot she long. Okay, so she cannot read long stories. She cannot read long stories. Make sure you have the correct answers in your, uh, in your books at page 57. Okay, so let's try to revise what we have learned in this lesson. We were able to cover all the important information at uh, unit animals. We talked about singular and plural. We were able to name singular animals and plural ones. Also, we were able to answer the question, what can animal eat and what can they produce? They eat different food and they produce different products. So that was my enrichment activities, my dear student. Until I see you next time, stay safe. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.